Nichols Greek Sororities Phi Mu, Gamma Phi Beta, Tri Sigma, and Delta Zeta held a meet and greet in the quad to drum up some interest from potential new members and show the students what their sisterhood means to them. The Children's Miracle Network Hospital is Phi Mu's national charity. They host dodgeball tournaments and bingo to raise money for it. My favorite part about being in the sisterhood of Phi Mu is that I know that I can go up to any girl in our chapter and have a really good conversation with them and feel, feel like they know me and I know them. Delta Zeta's charity is the Starlet Hearing Foundation. Some events that they host to raise money for it are Fashion for a Passion and Pause for a Cause. I've never experienced this one, but I'm really excited for Pause for a Cause. So we just get local animal shelters to come out and we just play with our dogs, raise money for our philanthropies, and I'm so excited. I think that's going to be my favorite. During Greek Week, our sororities and fraternities compete in events like trivia, piroguing, and song fest, where they make up dances and skits to compete for bragging rights. My favorite event to attend as a FIMU is definitely song fest. I'm really sad that we haven't been able to have it, um, but I'm looking forward to having it for my senior year, hopefully. Tri Sigma's charity is the Cornerstone Center here in Thibodeau that houses homeless children. Some events that Tri Sigma does to raise money for it is rocking for Robbie and running for Robbie. Girls on the Run is Gamma Phi Beta's charity. This organization raises money to help empower women. Across the country, Gamma Phi Beta chapters host Moonball events to help support this cause. Our chapter of Gamma Phi Beta here at Nichols hosts a volleyball tournament. COVID has only really changed the means of interaction. There's a lot more virtual sisterhood events now, but it really hasn't changed the sisterhood at the core at all, which is such a great thing that even we're able to make connections over a computer screen and just really be there for each other, especially in these difficult times. This has been Hannah Robert with KNSU TV.